But where it'll be like um, people will draw you in. You know, the same way that somebody will do sex magic to get you to come closer to them. Where they'll like, you would think that they're doing that. Oh, it's meant to be because, you know, I got off the elevator and he was right there. Or I turned around and he was right there and we just kept running into each other. And I can't stop thinking about him. And it's all this stuff where all of a sudden that person's just on your mind. It's because, like, sometimes it's something beautiful and, or, and totally organic. And then sometimes it's this person doing sex magic. And then they just stalking the fuck out of you to find out where you're going to be so they can be there too. And so they can make it seem like it's some beautiful um, thing. Similar to, like, people who stalk celebrities. It's the same thing where they sit up here and they studying the fuck out of that person. And they just like, where's this person going to be so I can be there too? It's not a coincidence. It's stalking. Um, but one of the things that I noticed, though, was where it's like, that's a lot of that subtext. Like what I talked about. Um, there, I did a video about subtext probably like two years ago where I talked about how people will put a double meaning on things or where they will do a lot of word witchery. I know where I'm concerned because my North Node has to do with words. People typically rely on like word witchery to try and like mess with my balance and stuff like that, but it's not working and it's never gonna work again. But um, like it may have worked in the past, it's never gonna work again. It's not working now. Um, but they'll they'll do things where it'll be like I kept getting like butter nuts, but her nuts. Like oh she's beautiful, but her nuts hang her. Where it's like some of them like, but it's somebody who has like a mental issue, like somebody who like low key is like, has been diagnosed with some sort of a mental um, disability or something like that. They might actually be right now trying to use their mental issue to try and get out of what it is they've been caught doing, but it's not going to work because they've been doing it long before they were ever diagnosed. And the diagnosis is a direct result of the things that it is that they've been doing because doing witchcraft on people will make somebody go nuts. That's the part that, that people don't seem to realize is that sitting around here conjuring shit up and conjuring up dark spirits and like targeting and doing all of these wicked things, especially when it starts to be like trying to trade places, trying to project and stuff like that. And people get to trying to speak words over somebody else. But nobody can say I am for you, so nobody can do anything to you with their words, especially once you recognize that they don't have the power to do so. And them attempting to do it over and over and over again will cause them to start to lose their shit. But they don't realize that. And so it's like one of those things where it's like they'll lose their mind. That's where you'll notice the abnormal darkening of the face and things like that will start happening. Um, but anyway... So yeah, somebody was like, somebody plays with words like that. Um, somebody uses a lot of subtext. And then somebody's just like always putting sorry around somebody's name. Where it's just like, sorry, such and such. Sorry this, sorry that. And they're making it sound like they're apologizing, but they're actually trying to call you sorry and trying to get you to leave it. And that's where you have to do whatever you have to do to cancel what they said, to block what they said, to put to return that back to the sender and to let it be what it's gonna be. Because people really will sit up here and use subtext and use things like that where you and and you know you know it's something that happens because people will be like, oh bless her heart. Or oh you know, where they'll try and make their sympath make it sound like they're sympathetic when really they're being uh, nice, nasty, where they're being like judgmental, or where they're being critical, or where they're being passive aggressive, or where you know, a lot of comedians have talked about how Christians will be like, "Oh, bless you," but they really mean something else. It's stuff like that, where it's like there is a mean intention attached to words. So you have to be very careful with that and make sure that you're canceling the fuck out of anybody's words by doing your return to senders.